This is this is both shoes all good. Stretch, what are you thinking for a date? Yeah. I mean, depending on. I guess I I, we'll see what I was looking to do. Um, so I, I, I hadn't really thought that far in advance. This is State of Wisconsin versus Darrell Brooks Jr. Case 20 CF 2550. Also calling 21 CF 4596 and 21 CF 5020. Appearances? State appears by Jacob Core and Michelle Grasso. Attorney Robert Hampton appears with Attorney William Rakestraw with uh, Mr. Brooks. Good uh, afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Um, Mr. Brooks's cases were scheduled today before this branch and branch 10 for final pretrials. Mr. Brooks is currently set for trial in both of these branches on December 12th. My understanding is during the course of the morning, uh, both the state and defense counsels met with um, branch 10, Judge Havis, and uh, there was a discussion about what would happen this afternoon, and it's my understanding that there's going to be a request that we postpone the December 12th trial dates. Is that accurate? That, that is correct, Your Honor. Um, we all know where Mr. Brooks has been the last basic month, and over that month, just out of a courtesy, because he's was focusing on other things, being his own attorney there in Wapashaw, um, we didn't speak with him, because he was <coughs> busy. Um, since the verdict is read, got back in touch with Mr. Brooks, and we're speaking again, and, dealing with this case, but I'm asking for an adjournment so that we can now get into how we want to handle uh, the case in front of Your Honor and also uh, Judge Havis. Mr. Corr and Ms. Grasso, is the state going to take a position on these requests? No, Judge, I, I, given the circumstance that I don't think the state is going to object, the state would have been prepared on December 12th for these matters, but um, given the circumstances and the defense's inability to prepare, uh, we're not going to object to the adjournment. All right. Um, at, at this point, I, from the court system's perspective, um, we've uh, begun to make arrangements, um, and I, I discussed this briefly with uh, counsel, uh, with Mr. Core today. Um, the court had reached out to um, find larger board dire space for December 12th, and we talked about um, Waukesha. The court had been kind enough to share a juror questionnaire. Uh, we talked about that. Uh, but uh, I can't say that significant enough efforts have been made that uh, it would cause problems to move these matters. And given the circumstances here in the uh, um, uh, events of, of the last month in Waukesha County, the court does understand why it would have been difficult for Mr. Rakestraw and Mr. Hampton to meet with uh, Mr. Brooks and coordinate uh, strategy on these matters. So for those reasons, the court will grant the request to adjourn these matters. Um, Mr. Hampton and Mr. Rakestra, um, at this point, should we be looking at setting new final trial and final pretrial dates, or do you think the cases are going to move in a different direction? Um, at this point, I guess we as do we uh, set a status date so that uh, we can figure out how we want to move forward and also discuss any possible plans, any possible options with the state, if those exist. Mr. Corr, Ms. Grasso, do you want to weigh in on that? I don't have a position on that, Judge. All right. Um, from the court's perspective, that's appropriate um, because I, I think clearly if we end up setting another trial date for Mr. Brooks, that has to be the in capital letters trial date for these matters. And it's gonna take a fair amount of preparation on behalf of the state, a fair amount of preparation on behalf of the defense, and a fair amount of preparation on behalf of the court system. And so um, I think that setting a status date to make sure that that's where we're going to go. I also think that on that status date, We'd set both matter, the matters in both courts on December 12th, and it may be 
that in the future we need to revisit setting the matters on the same date in both calendars. That's a decision that State Defense and Judge Havis and I can continue to discuss. But at this point, I do think it's appropriate to set these matters for a status hearing. Um, given the Thanksgiving holiday and the holidays that follow, um, realistically, Mr. Hampton, Mr. Rakestra, and uh, Counsel for the State, how much time until we know where we're going on these? If you look at the second week of January, is that possible? 